Hey, welcome to Steel Lodge. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Steam Deck again and seeing how we can take this and put the output of the screen onto this monitor right here and then capture that using a Elgato HD60 Plus. I'm sure it would work with a bunch of other capture cards just fine. I did see some discourse on Reddit that this capture card doesn't work for it, but I bit the bullet and tried it out and it works great. It captures the footage that's displayed out at 1080p 60 FPS, but that's actually upscaled because the Steam Deck in game mode, when it outputs to another uh, monitor, I'm almost positive it's actually in 1280 by 720 or 1280 by 800. And this is a 1440p screen here. And when I have it in 720p mode for output, it lines up perfectly. But if I have it in 1280 by 800, it's a 16 by 9 monitor with a 16 by 10 resolution. So things don't scale quite perfectly. But I'll show you the setup today and show you how you can capture it with battery and with uh, plugged in performance as well. Although the performance is the same, but just so you can see the stats when you're actually recording your direct capture footage. Let's jump into it. All right, now we have the Steam Deck hooked up to this Belkin USB hub, which has four ports on it. It has an HDMI out and two USB-A ports, as well as a USB Type-C port. This Type-C port you can use to run power to. And I'm actually using the Steam Deck's power adapter to charge it right now. You're actually going to need this, in fact. I was using this other cord I have right here, which is hooked up down below my desk to an 18 watt power adapter, but you're gonna want the full 45 watt power adapter for the Steam Deck because if you don't, your Steam Deck will actually slowly discharge while you play it on a remote screen. So if I pan up here, you can see, this is the monitor that my Steam Deck's outputting to, and over on this side, we have OBS. From this hub, we have the HDMI that's running, and it's running into the Elgato HD 60S Plus. On this side is the input. This is USB Type-C that runs to my computer and gives it the data for all the recording. On this side, we have the output HDMI, which is running to the back of this monitor and giving us the image on this screen. When you're capturing, you're gonna to wanna to play on your output monitor and not looking at the OBS recording. So if I you know, go through a couple tabs here, you can see that it's working fine. I'm using my Steam Deck to play this and uh, you know, I hold it in my hand when I'm recording like I have been. On here it's going to have a little bit of delay, not a ton. You can also go into the Bluetooth settings for the Steam Deck and hook up something like an Xbox controller. And This is actually what I was doing for a while, but for some games it works better just to use the Steam Deck as a controller, but this is obviously more comfortable to do like this and play on there than trying to pull the Steam Deck over with all these cords attached to it. Okay, so now I have the Steam Deck with the dock outputting onto a monitor. And if you see here on the stats, you can look at the battery and you see this plug, that means we're plugged in. So, if we want to get footage with the Steam Deck actually showing battery stats for how long it's going to last, you'd think I could just unplug this power input and it would work, right? Well, let me show you what happens if you do that. We just lose all the footage and OBS is the same thing. There's no output anymore. And I'm pretty sure that the USB hub needs power for it to actually display an image through the HDMI port. There's a solution to this. All you have to do is get a cable like this. That's just a, let's see if it can focus. It's the type C to an HDMI. Let me plug this in right now and I'll show you what it looks like. And as you can see, we now have the USB-C plugged into here. That is not the hub. It's just the one that is pure HDMI output. And if we look at the monitor, it's working. And if we look at OBS, it's working too. You can see we do now get battery stats for the Steam Deck actually, which is useful. So you can play with TDP and a bunch of other things to actually get direct capture of battery statistics for the Steam Deck. Additionally, this is obviously more comfortable to just pick up and hold this while playing versus having this big hub attached to it, uh, which is kind of annoying to play with, but it's not too bad if you set it down. One thing to keep in mind though, is if you're doing desktop capture, you do probably want something like the hub because right here on the hub, you can see I have this adapter and that actually controls the second set of uh, keyboard and mouse that I have. If I wanna do desktop mode stuff, I can control it that way on this monitor like a regular computer way easier than using the Steam Deck, using the touch screen, and manually pulling up the keyboard on the Steam Deck, which is pretty frustrating to use the desktop mode that way, so. Hey, so we're on the desktop side of things now. Let's open up OBS. If you've never used OBS before, this is for you. If you've used it and familiar with it, you probably don't need this at all. If you first open this, there will be some pop-ups for the software, and you can just click right through them. 
Otherwise, click plus here and you want video capture device. Just hit OK or we'll name it whatever you want. So here, there's a couple different things that might pop up. For instance, this is my webcam. If I open this up, you can see me. What we want is the Game Capture HD 60S Plus, and there is the Steam Deck right off the bat. It's pretty straightforward, and you probably won't need to configure the video, but if you do, you can check in here for different settings and tweak with brightness, contrast, hue. I honestly just leave this on the default so I don't mess with the image too much before giving it to you guys. I'm just gonna resize this here. Um, there we go. So there's a bunch of other different settings down below, but honestly, I think the Elgato just sends OBS most of the information that it needs and you don't really need to tweak it. So color space and everything looks right. So you just hit. Um, also for the audio output mode, you can change this, but usually just leave this on capture audio only and hit okay. So now you can see we have the game displayed in this image here. And if I hit start recording, it'll start recording it. I'm honestly not too familiar with the streaming side of things, but there's probably a way to stream this to Twitch by I hit start streaming and hooking some things up to Twitch. So for settings for the video quality, if you go to settings and go to output and record, this might be in a less advanced mode. Initially, it'll look at like this simple. I like the advanced mode better. Record will be for your actual video recordings and you can set the output location for them. I don't tweak with too much here. I do put the format as MP4. It will be MKV originally. And the reason I do that is because Premiere, which is the video editing software I use, doesn't like MKV. So I have to use Handbrake to turn this into MP4 or another format so I can actually edit the videos in Premiere. So I personally just use MP4. Um, I use the NVIDIA NVENC encoder. I have a RTX GPU, so the NVIDIA encoders are great on there. And for the control quality, uh, it might be on VBR originally. According to Epos Vox's videos that I've seen, he likes using CQP. And then a CQP level of 14 should be about lossless quality, um, indistinguish indistinguishable from what you would see on your screen. Obviously, if you upload to YouTube or something, YouTube's gonna compress your video and it's gonna look worse than it does on your actual uh, computer. So the lower this number is, the less compression there is on your video and the higher it is, the more compression there will be. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing long recordings, maybe crank this value up. As far as the other values, here's just what I use. Um, I don't think I tweaked very much here, honestly. So I just leave that as, as is. You can hit apply or okay if you don't have those settings. I already have them. And from here, you can just hit start recording and on the bottom right, it'll give you your stats and everything, and then you stop recording, and that's it. There is the Elgato 4K capture utility, but honestly, I just prefer OBS. If you wanna learn more about that utility, you can look elsewhere, but this was just a quick overview on how to capture your Steam Deck on OBS. So there's one other thing I wanted to address, and that is, why would you capture your Steam Deck this way? Don't you just wanna record on the Steam Deck using OBS, because the Steam Deck is just a computer? Well, unfortunately, you can only use OBS right now on the Steam Deck in desktop mode for the Steam Deck. And if you do that, you would have to play games on the Steam Deck in that desktop mode. The games don't really play as well using that mode. And even then, I've tried it out and there is some gameplay crashing issues. I've had a lot more games crash on me when I do use OBS and try to just record on the Steam Deck. And there's also some overhead when you use OBS to record on a device. The uh, Steam Deck is, you know, it's a powerful handheld machine, but you have to use your GPUs like encoding to do a video like that while you're already playing a game and some games on the Steam Deck are already super demanding so that overhead would interfere with the capture data that you're actually getting probably just a little bit but it's something to account for. I have heard that on Reddit there's one person that is working on a script that will allow OBS or something to work if you're in game mode and that would be nice but like I said again I don't know how the performance of OBS is gonna affect the Steam Deck if you're capturing and playing at the same time. Before I go, there's one other thing I like to cover and that's actually the audio for the game. Because uh, right now we don't seem to be getting any audio for the game that I can actually hear. So if you wanna mess with that, you can go here on the video capture device settings and hit the cog and go to advanced audio properties. And you can see different stats here. I like to do monitor and output, so that way we can both record the audio and hear it back for our own uh, needs. 
but it doesn't seem to be working here right now. Let me go ahead and try something out. Okay, for some reason, I just unplug my capture device from my Steam Deck and plug it back in. And now you can see we're getting audio for the game. Uh, additionally, if you've never used OBS before, you can do some things like this, where if I add another video capture device, and just call this one webcam, and I can use my actual webcam right there and mess with the settings if I want, and that can put that in there. And then, for instance, I could just drop myself into the top right corner or wherever, and that way if I do a stream, if I do any recordings, it can actually save right onto my computer without me having to go into post-production with Premiere or something and edit the video there. You can also add images or something if you want like a nice frame around your, uh, your capture up here in the top right, but that's all for this video. If you want more in-depth stuff, check out Epos Vox. I'll put a link to his channel below. There's a bunch of other good resources online for this kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Have fun capturing your Steam Deck and have a good day.